What's up my bandits? Danny Gunn checking in once again. Uh, today we have a special, very special video. Um, you might have seen me do this on our other channel, Big Boy Toys. If you haven't, uh, you're about to be treated to a very special thing because I know all you guys out there are into Fortnite, right? Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm right. And today I'm going to show you how, check this out, check these weapons we got, how I built a Fortnite Plunia pickaxe. That's right guys. So we have four blades out here we're gonna use. We also have a plunger, a toilet plunger. Now this is a brand new one, check it out. It still has that sticker. So don't worry, it's not dirty, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a real life Plunia pickaxe right out of the Fortnite game, okay? So uh, let's set up this camera on a tripod and uh, get into it, huh? And after this, after, I, after the build, uh, I'm gonna pull up the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel on the laptop and uh, we're gonna do a few shout outs too, so uh, you gotta stay for that. So let's, let's make this build first and then we'll get into some shout outs as well. All right guys, uh, this is gonna be crazy. All right, let me set up the camera on a tripod somewhere so you guys can see what I'm doing and uh, we'll get right back into it. All right. All right, my dudes, the camera's all set up uh, and I'm about to get into this build. Now, this is the only channel where I'm the only one that actually did or made a real life Plunia pickaxe, which is pretty cool. So you're gonna see it only here. If anybody else does it, they're a copycat. Now, the second thing is that do not try this at home. Let me do, let the professional myself do this and show it to you how it looks and how it functions in real life. Uh, and save yourself the trouble because you don't want to get cut by a knife by an accident. So do not do this at home, all right? That's the disclaimer. Now, we've got a couple of ninja swords here that we could try to use. I don't know which one, which one I'm feeling today. Today I might be feeling this, uh, this blue one out here. Let's see what we got. Now, let's see which blade I like better. Let's pull up this one out here. You know what? I think I like this blue one better. It has a couple of uh, engravings here, which is kind of cool. So let's, let's roll with this one. So now, you just gel the two together and you got yourself a Plunia pickaxe right out of Fortnite. A real life Plunia pickaxe. So let's do that. Let's poke a hole through this, down to this other side, all right? So you gotta be careful, you're dealing with blades, you definitely wanna be careful so you don't cut yourself. So do not do this at home, leave it to the pros. So check it out dudes, here it is, a Plunia pickaxe right out the game. A real life pickaxe right out the Fortnite Battle Royale game. Swing at people, you can you know, do, your, do your regular stuff that you do in the game in real life. But you don't wanna do that, that's why you just play the game, all right? Stick to the game, do not do anything in real life that uh, your parents don't allow you to do. All right, so here we go. This is the Punya pickaxe that I want to create. Now here's the thing. You guys probably see me do this uh, on my other channel, on the Big Boy Toys channel. Um, so I'm, today I'm gonna create something different. I created something like this earlier, and uh, it was the first time there too. But today I'm gonna try to use one of these, aside from the ninja knife, let's try to use either this thing, check out this blade, or, this is a brand new one I just got. Actually, I might just want to do this. Oh yeah, check this out, dudes. Yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna use this one. So let's swap it. Let's take out this ninja sword. And let's see how this one would look if we set it up the same way. So, poke it right through. Right in there. All right, and then down through to the other side. Ooh, right away, you got yourself a different look. Now this might be a scarier look than the other one because this knife looks pretty scary. Check it out. Oh yeah, a real life Plunia pickaxe, dudes. Check that out. Let me know in the comments below if you like it. Uh, if you think, uh, if you have any other ideas that I could try and build out of this, but I think this is pretty darn close to the game. Like you can't get any realer than this. All right guys, I hope you like this build. This is the Build Your Weapon Fortnite Plunia Pickaxe. And this thing looks epic. Now it's time for some shout outs. So let's go power on the laptop and see who we're gonna go give a few shout outs to. Let's go. And hey, now uh, that I thought of it, if there's any uh, other ideas or things that you guys uh, would like me to try and build out of that Fortnite game, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll try to, uh, you know, I'll try to put some together, film it and uh, show it to you guys, all right? So uh, your comments are welcome. Okay, 
Now, also, I uh, wanted to let you know that uh, if you've been watching my zombie survival guide uh, series on this channel, uh, you know, hopefully you guys like those and uh, let, give me some ideas on, on that as well because uh, those, are, those are, were pretty fun and I think that next one's going to be, uh, maybe I'll build a weapon out of my garage if I'm stuck in a zombie apocalypse. So, I mean, that could be a fun one. And uh, I think I have a few other ideas. I mean, I can show you, you know, what, uh, what food and what kind of uh, 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 survival bag you need to prepare just in case a zombie apocalypse comes upon us. But anyways, guys, let's, uh, let's power on the laptop and uh, check out some comments on my Danny Vlog channel. So let's go, let's go, let's go down. Ooh, I like this. I like it when, when people write a lot. That's kind of cool. That means you put an effort. So here it is. We're going to put in a first shout out to Graham Turner, man. Dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's got, dudes, he's got a whole bunch of questions for Danny uh, right, on, right on there. So um, let's answer those questions. Let's answer these questions, see if we can do this quickly or not. All right. Hi, Danny. I have a few, few questions for you. Few as in 10. That's not a few, man. That's a whole bunch of questions. But anyways, here we go. Uh, if there was one thing you could change about Gamers Gun, what would it be? Would you try, try to shut out more channels? Would you do collabs or are there any other changes? Well, the only change I would do is take out my brother, man. Take him out of there. That would be the best addition and change to Gamers, Gamers Gun channel. Uh, but I don't, know, um, I don't know how that would go with him, so that could be a problem. Anyways, let's go to the next question. Uh, if you could go, number two, if you could go uh, to one country in Europe you haven't been to, what would it be? Why would you go to that country? Man, I would just go somewhere nice and hot. Spain, Croatia, Italy, one of those three, man. Somewhere where there's a beach and where it's nice and hot. That's all, that's all I care about. So those are the, my top three picks. Here we go, number three. If you could change one thing about your house that still, that still allows the entire family to live there while keeping the layout of their house, what would it be? Why? Dude, I would change the whole house, man. I like the thing is the, the last house was too small for us. This one might be too big, but the problem is with the old house is that it had a whole bunch of nice, you know, backyard that we can go out and play on and, and do our crazy North Force out there. Here, there isn't too much space outside. So basically I would kind of mix the two together pretty much. Take that uh, backyard, put it in, into this house and that's it. That's the only change. I would expand the backyard. I think that would be, uh, that would be pretty cool. So here we go. Next question is number four. If you could do a collaboration with any other Nerf channel on YouTube, blah, blah, uh, including me, uh, why would it be why? Man, it would be you, dude. Graham Turner. I, I didn't know you're a Nerfer. That's what I would do. I would hook up with you. I wouldn't hook up with anybody else, man. I, I don't, we don't really pay attention to anybody else out there on YouTube. Number five, why would you not, why do you not upload videos on the channel Nerf Superheroes anymore? Well, Thanks for noticing, man. Thanks for noticing that channel. Thanks for knowing that that channel exists, but it uh, looks like we're gonna have to take that channel down because YouTube, I don't know if you know, has been very stingy on our releases. Uh, they've been also very stingy on superhero stuff. So basically, um, I think we're gonna have to remove that channel because they seem like they're cracking down on superhero channels. So I think uh, we're gonna have to stop uh, all video production on the Nerf superhero channel. So. That's one of the reasons. It's YouTube, man. Go thank YouTube. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? Here we go. Next question. Uh, what do we got here? Number six. Uh, uh, haha. Why, would, why do you not make any mods that are functional in any way other than special uh, effects video editing? You will, will you ever get into the amount of other Nerf YouTubers? All right. We're not going to mention those YouTubers, but those guns that I own downstairs are all functional, man. They're all functional. All right. They, they, you guys don't know, man. They're all functional. Let's move on to the next question. When do you when do you first get when did you first get the idea to creating uh, Gunner's Gun? Well, go check out the first video of Gunner's Gun. You'll know, man. Will you do reviews of airsoft guns again on this channel? Why am I not? No, I don't think I'll be doing airsoft reviews anymore. I maybe I'll do a few mods to airsoft uh, uh, guns, but I don't know if I'll be doing any more reviews. I like doing these kind of vlogs now, and uh, you know we'll do some zombie survival and a whole bunch of other things. So um, yeah, we'll be sticking to that for now. Uh, number nine, will you ever make homemade blasters that potentially use homemade ammo and work with no video editing? Why, why not? Dude, all our stuff works with no video editing. I don't even get into that, man. Anyways, move on. Last question. Will you ever get a 3D printer and sell stuff online? Again, why, why not? 
Uh, you never know, man. Down the road, we might set up a shop, sell some t-shirts, sell some 3D printed stuff, and uh, put up on eBay, Amazon, whatever. We'll see. We don't know yet. Uh, we'll decide that soon, but you guys got to keep checking out, checking out our channels and, and see when that comes up. All right? So yeah, Graham Turner, big shout out to you, man. Thanks for all these questions. That was epic. I think we only have time for that. One uh, shout out. Maybe we'll do one more random one. Let's go to, let's go to down here. Uh, I am your fan, Danny Gunn. Where is that? Where is this guy? Ooh, we got a couple of guys here. Here we go. Mohamed Musa Sakei. I am your fan, Danny Gunn. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Keep it real, man. Keep checking in. And uh, you guys make sure you subscribe to this channel. And, you know, you never know when I might be, be giving a shout out to you and your channel. So, uh, yeah. Keep it real, my bandits. Make sure you subscribe, click like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.